Hey folks, Matt Rainwater again. So today we're going to be coloring um, Candace here. And first of all, I need to get rid of that line art and everything else. And set the line art to multiply. I'm not going to label it. Oh. <laughs> I don't have my keyboard plugged in. I'm like, why isn't this working? What happened? Is Clip Studio acting up again? No, I'm acting up again. That's what's going on. <laughs> all right, flats. Uh, all right. Set the whatever this. What is this supposed to indicate? Because I think of it as like a I don't know like. What do they call that? On um on the zipper, it kind of looks like that. I don't know what that is supposed to like visualize. What is that thing? Do y'all have any ideas? Please post in the comments what you think it is. I would love to know. <laughs> uh, it's not even. Wor oh, did I? Uh, hold on. Yeah, applied to connected pixels only. It's very important if you're going to do this. Okay, that's too much. Too much. Too tan. Um, I mean, I want her to be a little tan, but not that tan. It's too tan. Maybe. Based on where she's living, information I am not willing to divulge at this moment. Uh, let's see. I mean, I'm probably going to end up having to play around with that anyway. Let's see here. I'm just that's this is the easy part. Um, the hard part will be literally everything else. <laughs> I've been thinking about you know for Candace, I've been trying to figure out what colors to use for her. Um, I mean, I guess I should just say it because I'm going to end up, this is going to end up being part of it. This is the character Candace from Trail Park Warlock Older. So I want to use some colors that do reference like her Owl Scout uniform that she wore um, in Trail Park Warlock when she was a kid, right? And the idea is at this point, she's probably around 21. Um, I have to actually, because I'm thinking of this taking place in 2012 in Trailer Park Warlock, she was like 8. So like 20-ish. 20, 21. Uh, old enough to drink, basically. Um, Alright. I'm gonna... Th so I've been thinking that I want her hat and her skirt to be the same color, and we'll see how this works. This might be a terrible idea. Let's check it out. Let's see what happens. Uh, that works better than I expected, actually. And that doesn't. <laughs> it doesn't work as good. Um, probably make that green. Once again, using my theory of fewer colors is better, right? Um. I even make her backpack green. Uh, I think that works. But so I'm sure questions abound in your mind, right? Why Candace? Well, I mean, y'all just have to watch, right? Because I've got other characters to draw. Uh, we're only two characters in, right? Loretta was the first one. Where was easy. Loretta was like super easy because that was kind of the first character that really sparked the idea for the story. Because I knew I wanted it to take place um, within the Trailer Park Warlock universe, and I wanted it to be later on, but I wasn't really sure what characters to use. Uh, there are two characters that I feel pretty confident that I wanted to use. Candace is one of them. I don't think 
if it works. Uh, maybe that works. Let's see. Nope. Maybe. Candace is one of them. There's another one who we will be, uh, y'all will see pretty soon because I'm going to do that character design next. Uh, it was a character I wasn't sure how I was going to have them utilized in the story. I, hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. See, what's throwing me off right now is the white of her, like, tank top. I don't know, like it just doesn't, uh, I could go in another direction. I wanna try something. Okay, yellow. This is what I'm thinking, yellow, yellow, yellow. That works a little bit better. Hmm, I like the, the yellow and green's good. Um. What I'm wondering, what I'm wondering, should I change that up? Because I'm like, maybe there's too much green. That kind of works. Better than one, better than two. Better than one, better than two. Uh, I have one other suggestion. That kind of works. Um, that actually kind of works really well, actually. I think that's what I'm going to go with. Yeah, uh, this is always hard to, I mean, I can always change it later. There's nothing that says that I can, like, I have to stick with this. I think that this is a good palette for her. My only issue is, I don't know what my issue is. I guess it's just, like, I'm kind of like, maybe there's too much green. That's what I'm kind of wondering. Like maybe, um, maybe her shoes should be blue. So then we're at one, two, three, four colors. Ugh. It could also be yellow. Oh. Hmm. All right. Maybe that works. That works better than I thought it would. Let's see again. Yeah, that ties it together, actually. All right. That's what we're going to do. Cool. Um, I didn't... I don't know why. I just thought, like, that would look bad. But actually, I think the green is a good accent. But I think there was too much green, so... There you go. I'm always curious what y'all think. Uh, once again, as always, I always say this and we'll keep saying this. I love to hear back from y'all. If y'all have suggestions of your own, I'm happy to hear them. If you just want to say, Matt, you're making the best decisions ever, <laughs> you can also say that. <laughs> I'm certainly, um, I certainly won't shy away from it. Um, I'm just curious to hear what y'all think. Because ultimately, like, I'm going to end up going with what feels correct to me. Uh, this feels the most correct to me. Uh, it feels the most correct to me in terms of where this, um, where the story takes place, sort of what the general aesthetic is that I want to go for. I just look at it and go, yeah, that, that works. That should work. Um, all right, here comes the fun part, right, whenever we do this stuff which is what brush am I going to use today? What about Concept Craig? And let's pick up, looks good. Mm, Concept Craig might not be the one. 
about hmm, Photoshop. I see what y'all did there. No, not that one. I'm looking for something that will like you don't layer with. Um, which is why I usually just use the inking brushes for this kind of thing, but I don't know. Painterly. Oh, this one kind of works. Modeled. Painterly modeled. Mm. Maybe. I'm at this stage right now where it's like I pretty much know the characters, what the characters are going to be doing, I haven't exactly settled on. I have a pretty good idea for the main character. I haven't decided. Like, Candace is definitely a main character, but I don't know if she's the main character yet. I haven't totally nailed that down. Um, really haven't. Let's see. Nope. And that's been a hard thing for me to figure out because there was a while where I was 100% like, yeah, it's going to, Candace is going to be the main character. And now I'm kind of in this place where it's like, well, actually, there's another person who I would like to be the main character as well, or exclusively or I'm not sure and um, this is what happens when you create stuff is before you actually just make the full commitment right there's this period where everything is a little bit nebulous and it could go it, it could go whatever way you know um, so it's a you know it's 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 a um, Oh, it's that moment, it's that moment, I was going to try and be like, <laughs> I was going to try and be like sagely or whatever and talk about stuff I've read in the I Ching recently because I've been reading the I Ching, but uh, I actually haven't been reading it that well because I don't, I'm not really remembering everything that I've read. There is, I don't know, there's like this concept. Uh, the central concept in the I Ching, which I really like, is this idea of um, the way that the world works is that whenever things get pushed to their limit, like when things get so out of hand that it can't possibly be that wild anymore, it resets and it returns to um, a simpler state or a more receptive state or a, you know, like it just, it's not, like, you know, people, I don't know if you, I, I get annoyed with sort of the, what people call the culture wars and all that crap lately. I, I'm not, not a big fan of whatever that is. Um, because people like to talk about the pendulum and how the pendulum swings back and forth, blah, blah, blah. Who cares? Um, this is not like the pendulum uh, idea. It, this is like... This is like... Um, there's only so much energy that you can put into a system. I, I think that's the best way I can start off. And whenever... Like a system has only so much carrying capacity... So, like, you know, you have, uh, let's, let's think about in regards to, say, uh, farming, cropping, right? Something that happened in the past, uh, you know, people like to talk about the Dust Bowl that happened in the 1930s or so. And the reason, part of the reason that the Dust Bowl happened was that uh, the way people were farming was extremely uh, unhelpful to the environment because they would not replenish the um, the fertile dirt. So, like you know, you raise a crop; it 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 uses whenever a plant grows, it uses the nutrients that are in the dirt 
Well, if you don't replace the nutrients that have been used up in the dirt, the dirt becomes less and less fertile with every crop. So whenever you have a certain situation happen in the world, so I don't know, like let's use, an, I'm trying to think of a, an appropriate example. Let's say, um, let's say the number of memes, because you would think that memes multiply to, you know, infinity. Or no, let's talk about a particular meme, right? I think this is, I'm going to make a really abstract statement that may go ever, over everybody's head, and this may be pointless, the example I'm trying to make. But anyway, I'm going to try. Um, you know, we always have new memes that come out in the world. And why do you think that is, right? Because, like, there's some bangers out there. There's some good memes. And yet, new ones seem to replace them. And I think that's because memes have a carrying capacity. There's only, like, so long that they're going to go, you know? There's only so many people that they're going to resonate with. And then at a certain point, it resonates, like a given meme resonates with as many people as it can resonate with. And then, you know, maybe it goes a little further and it's like, you know, you're... Your uh, your your great grandmother's talking to you about Dogecoin or something. Uh, that's that's car that's like you've gone beyond carrying capacity. And then Dogecoin is like seventy five cents, and then suddenly it's like six cents, right? I mean, this is a very generalized example, but I'm trying to make the point. I'm trying to make is like you um you can only do so much with a given thing and you have to understand the limits of that thing and I guess this is why I like the I Ching because it's very abstract and you can apply it to day-to-day -day life you could apply it to you know just anything um, I really like things I mean that's why I, I'm kind of a philosophy uh, junkie I think that's the appropriate word. I'm kind of a philosophy junkie for this reason, because I like finding systems of thought that I can, you know, that are omni-applicable. I can uh, apply it to everyday life, and that, to me, is really cool. Um, I think that's something that, you know, I, for people who really get into math, I'm not, like, a super math person, although I more into it over time than I was when I was younger. I think people who really get into math get into math because they find that its its uses are almost inexhaustible. And yet, they can also be exhausted, going back to our whole I Ching thing earlier, right? Um, it's kind of, I, I mean, I don't, I'm not, I'm not, don't quote me on this, but I, I this is kind of the deal with like Gödel's theorem in regards to truth and facts. And basically, his whole thing was uh, there's there are limits to what can be said, and uh, sooner or later you hit those limits, and you can't really say anything useful anymore. Um, it's very that's the TLDR version. <laughs> Of girls theorem. I don't. I've heard it said many times. I've kind of. I've read it. I don't fully understand it, but I understand that much. Um. So that's why I like. That's why I've been. You know, getting into the I Ching. I'm actually taking a break right now. I read the Upper Canon. This is another curious thing. Is um. So another rundown of I Ching. I Ching is like. Um. I think of it this way, and maybe this is an inappropriate comparison, but I Ching is like uh, the Eastern variant of the tarot. And I, I say, I mean, A, it's a tool for divination. And then B, um, it has a lot of similarities to the tarot. Um, one of the big ones is that it's divided into canons, sort of like how the tarot is divided into major and minor arcana. Uh, 
the I Ching is divided into upper and lower canons. Now, those function a little differently um, because the canons in the I Ching are basically split down the middle, whereas in the with the major and minor arcana, the major arcana, I think it's 23. It, uh, it's 22 or 23 cards, and then everything else, right? It's like 50 plus cards is the minor arcana, whereas in the I Ching, uh, they're called Gua. Um, the Gua, the upper and lower canon, are divided right down the middle. It's uh, 32, because it's 64 total. Um, I actually would love to talk about, I'm still learning it right now. I'm still learning the system. I would love to talk more about it in the future. But um, I guess I'll leave it there because then y'all are just going to be staring at this picture of Canis, which I'm done with. Um, I, I finished it. And I like I like the way it's turned out. Um, like I said, uh, Leave a note in the comments if y'all about how y'all feel about it. If y'all are enjoying these videos also, please give them a like. Um, and if you haven't subscribed to this channel, please subscribe as well. I'm going to be doing more, um, more of these character designs. I have at least... Oh, I have at least three more to do of the main characters. Um... And then beyond that, I'll start thinking about secondary characters and stuff like that. But we got a little bit of time, right? I mean, that's going to at least, this is going to take up the next three weeks at least. So anyway, until then, hope y'all are having a wonderful day. Hope all is going well, and we will talk again soon. All right, talk to y'all later. Bye.